we are going to be going through the stuff that we currently have. Um, keep in mind, like, we're probably going to buy some stuff along the way here and there, create some DIYs. This is just currently our Halloween decorations that we have over the years. So let's start with some small things that we have. So again, and my little butterbeer container. This was from Five Below. It had butterbeer gummies in it. If you have not tried the butterbeer gummies, they are super, super yummy. That and the butterbeer chocolate. It's like so good. But we have this container in which we can throw in like these or just, um, we also have a bird cage that we have. Uh, some other small decorations that we have is like cinnamon witches brooms. Yeah, this one still smells like cinnamon. Oh, love it. Um, we also have like a claw. This um, usually goes in our garden. We'll create a cemetery, which I'll show you. We have some like, it looks like a cemetery gate with skulls on it. So I'll show you what it looks like in just a minute. We also have this little guy. This is actually an incense burner and it comes out of his mouth and it kind of comes down, but it makes a cute decoration for Halloween. And then we have this skull. I wonder if we could pick it up. It's like a rainbow, like oil slick color. You could kind of see it, but it's mostly like a dark black. Of course, we have some black gauze. Was this draped? I think this is draped outside. That's why it has so many leaves on it from last year. But we'll either put spider webs or gauze. I was able to save, oops, save this one from last year, but the spider webs, like the white ones, Ours totally got like ruined last year from like the rain and just yuckiness. So we had to get rid of them. So we'll probably go to the dollar store, get some more of these because they're so fun to like just spread around the house. I pulled out our purple bowl because I feel like either this could be used for a centerpiece or if we have like a movie night or Fortnite, like Fortnite, not like the game, like building a fort. <laughs> we can use this for basically anything. So some bigger items that we have is this lantern, which was actually actually a, a guest wedding gift to me and my wife from my cousin Liz so we love using this like we use it all year round so it's not just in our Halloween decorations it's like part of our Halloween decorations but we use it like summertime just it's like a nice piece that we put aside but when it comes to Halloween I like to put Halloween stuff inside and Halloween candles and stuff if you want to see our candle collection comment down below I will share all the candles that we currently have because we have some yummy scents that we have purchased. These are the picture frames that I showed you downstairs. I thought we had three small ones, which is, I, I might have to go downstairs again in the basement to see if, if we had another one, but we have, so far we have two of these and then one big one that stays in our room all year long because we love it. It's like a cemetery and church and it like lights up on the pumpkins and candles. I wonder if I could get this to turn on to kind of show you. Here we go. Can you see that? Did you see the difference? Yeah, oh yeah, you can see the difference. So it like lights up the pumpkins and then the church. I definitely have to wipe this one down because it does have a little bit of mildew on it. But it's nice because see how they like blink and I don't know. It just sets the vibe for Halloween time. We also have like Halloween lights that are like, it almost reminds me of like 90s Halloween. They're those colors. So we have our other picture frame, which is like the haunted ghoul house. For some bigger items, I brought out the, these go on our gazebo we wrap them around um for the fall time it's solar charged so you don't have to worry about constantly putting batteries in so that's nice we always put that out on the gazebo and i want the gazebo to look really nice for the fall i got some like gray and black pillows that i'm gonna put out there did i bring in the cushion i didn't bring in the cushion but that's like a white and black so i'm hoping to kind of have like a beetlejuice vibe a little bit we'll see what i can pull up so these are part of the graveyard that we have that we make outside in our garden um if you've been following on instagram you'll see that i did squash cucumbers potatoes tomatoes beans this year for our garden so we like to put this in the garden and we even have this one that says beware go back and then in the garden we do have like one of those garden flags and we have a hocus pocus themed one so i gotta actually i think that's in that box we'll have to find to pull it out um here is a uh, like door hanger you just kind of like slip it on your door and it's like these little witches feet um i'll either hang this on the wall somewhere or i'll put it on our door so for speaking of door for our rug we have this rug can you see it all the way let me back up I um 
I posted a picture of it on my Instagram and it says not every witch lives in Salem which is so cute we put this right outside of our home I have been having like I actually pulled this from our door because it's been up since September 1st because as soon as it hit I was like I gotta at least go get the carpet uh let's bring this big box over this seems to have a lot of our um decorations in it this is the bird cage i actually had this bird cage for several years like i honestly i think this is older than addison i've used it for so many different parties and just different events and it just is so useful because you can put different things like this opens totally up you can use it for like like cards or you know whatever you want to you could change it up but I like it because it has these little nests that you could put stuff in and then stuff on the bottom so if you want to you could always put like green moss and kind of have like fake but poisonous plants crawling up or you could put eyeballs in there I really want to paint this black but I'm gonna try to incorporate this into this year whether it's a DIY project or we buy some decorations to put in there we'll see what happens I found the other picture so let me pull that out first so I can show you guys this one is such a go and let me turn the light on it because it like it's so much better with the light on look at that i don't know it gives me the vibes of a haunted house but like almost like halloween town where you know um uh, marnie and her brother and sister live this is always the house that i think of that they live in or like it gives me like a uh, hocus pocus themed or um practical magic like i don't know why it just always gives me that like vibe when i put this up but this is our third small picture we have a hanging ghost it's just a simple i don't know like it's foam underneath and it used to have legs but over time you know they just fell off and got ruined and stuff like that so we have this hanging ghost i could either hang it from the ceiling or put it on the wall or if i wanted to i can even put it on a door we have this scarf which again like i use so much different things in different areas of the house just to like spruce it up a bit we all have a bit of magic in us and they're written on the house which is really really cute for a second when i seen the hat i thought that was like frosty the snowman but it's not it's day of the dead type of skull candy do you remember when that like trend came out where it was just like all skull candy halloween stuff have our little trick-or-treat i always love like these cute little um are these cardboard these little things because i sometimes like to make a like a collage wall of like just you know canvases these sometimes pictures of the family and just kind of make it all look like i don't know like a haunted house in a way we have this mask this was my wife's mask from one of the halloweens but sometimes we use it for decorations or Addison will ask to like ha wear it around the house these are the Halloween lights can you see the colors these are like this reminds me of the 90s like it's the green the green and orange and then we do have I believe it's like a purple one. Oh yeah here this right here is like a purple color so it's like you stepped into total Halloween nostalgia I absolutely love when we put these lights up I'm so excited I usually put them in the kitchen I'll put them above our our cabinet so then that the glow in the kitchen is just all Halloweeny and then sometimes I will put it in the living room I'm so excited then we have our bat lights these are are LED lights they are battery operated they're just cute little bats that light up purple sometimes I'll either I've set up like a whole like potion bar but like I have some ideas of creating a potion bar and the other past I like just kind of stack some decorations to kind of make a section for Halloween but I'm thinking about making like a, a potion section I have some ideas in the works we have another one of those oil slick um skulls Oh, I love this one. I have to find the top to this. This does have a top, but it's like a little potion bottle. And this is where I have the idea of making like a potion section because we also have a bunch of like old bottles that we've been saving. I'm thinking like trying to like either paint them or decorate them to look like potions. Um, but on this one, it says pre-made fear, wrath, and magic potion mixture. And then usually it does have a top on it um, that is like a witch's hat. I will sometimes use this in my marketing videos for my wellness company uh, that I share. If you want to follow, it's called Evolve Your Lifestyle on Instagram. But like sometimes when I'm making like the shakes or drinks that we have, I like using these for Halloween because I don't know, it just makes it feel a little bit more... Um, 
I don't know, a Halloween -y theme. <laughs> Next we have this little spell book and it does light up. Looks like it needs new batteries. Oh, it's the small batteries though. Those are kind of a little too expensive to replace. What else do we got? Oh, we got some wall, what do you call these? Like wall plaques that have like writing on it. I think they're called. So this one says stirring up magic, wicked witch, cast a spell, toil and trouble, Salem brooms, mystical brew, black cats. And I'll sometimes either put this in like the kitchen or the living room. I will at least put one in the bathroom because we have like a small wall that's like always blank. And I like putting these in there. And then we have another one here that looks like this one. All right, we have, oh yeah, see the lid. This has mold and mildew on top of it. I'm definitely gonna have to wipe this one down. Okay, so this looks like a candle that's finished um because it's like barely any and it's down to like the, you know when you burn down a candle and it has the metal disc um it's already to the metal portion so i think i save this because i want to clean it out and use it as a decoration so i'm gonna have to boil down the extra wax that's in here maybe put it in a smaller like i have some small um we have like these small jars that we can put like candle wax in and stuff, but I would have to get the wick to stick on the bottom. And I want to do that more with like our extra candles that have like the extra wax. But I will definitely use this for decoration because look at that. That's like a cute container to put stuff in. Or if you if this top isn't salvageable, I could use this for like the remotes um, and just have like the pumpkin you know, hold the stuff. So it'll definitely be used this year. I just got to clean it up and make it like appropriate. I might even um, end up having to paint this top. So then that way it's more safe. Let me put this down over here. Oh, these are so fun. These are little foam skull heads that you can just place um, on a coffee table or anything but usually they light up. Let's see. Oh yes, they still do. And the eyes change color. We did have a purple one, but I get, I don't know if it's in here or if it's still in our bedroom. Cause sometimes these are cute to just place around your house, especially if you're like a very, um, Gothic theme. I love like dark colors and moody aesthetic. And those are fun to place around. Here is our Hocus Pocus. Uh, what is this called? Flag for the garden. So it says broom squad. And, um, which honestly, have you seen the second one? The, uh, vacuums as one of the transportations. That was so funny. But we have this that we'll put out in the garden when we make the cemetery. And then we do have, it's freaking bats. I got to place down the brats. Um, this is like a garland. I believe we got this from the Dollar Tree or Dollar General, but it's like a simple thing to just put around like either a railing. You can place this, like you can even double it up and put it on an uh, ottoman or fireplace. But I like it because it has little skulls. Can you see that? So we have a bunch of, looks like we have more black gauze. Which all those like, I, I always feel like people feel like they have to get a bunch of big decorations, but sometimes when you get good quality little decorations and you're able to like place them just in different areas of your house, it just gives the whole vibe of Halloween. And then that way when you get like good quality like this plastic that will last more than like a paper sticker you can reuse it a few times. This little guy is a new addition from last year. So it's like a skeleton bat, which I kind of like. It does open its mouth. <laughs> and you can hang it upside down. It has little feet that you can hang it on. You could either do it on little, like uh, in our bathroom, we have these bins. You could either hang it on those bins or just hang it on like some lights or um, just anywhere basically that you want to use it. So then we also have this guy. This is like our little hanging bat. I still have the plastic that I use to hang it up, but I want to try to get an invisible fishing line so you don't see it as much. I try to get like clear plastic. But last year I hung this to the ceiling and it looked like bats were flying. Um, so we have that guy and we also have a second one. So last year I ended up making like 
turning the living room into like almost like a bat cave. That was like my whole goal. We had these two flying around. This is so cool. So this is an actual curtain, a lace curtain. Um, you could either put it in your window or on your door if it you feel better that it's on your door. It's like a whole big pattern. I'm definitely gonna, it's hard to show you in this lighting and in this um, video today, but when I do put it up, I'm gonna show you it. We only have one, they ended up running out um, and we didn't wanna get like, it was hard to keep the lights in. So there's light pockets that you put in. Like there's eye, um, sometimes the broom on the, wit like the witch's broom was lit up. So like there's different parts where you put in the lights and it like lights up the whole picture. But I ended up putting it against the wall by the end of October because the lights kept on falling out. So as much as I love this, it's not really practical when it comes to curtains, like for a window. So that's why I'm also kind of glad that we only have one because I use it on one of the walls that's like completely white. And it just kind of gives like a little bit more of a October Halloween-y vibe. I'm noticing that we have a lot of like dark decorations, which I kind of love. Okay, so I almost forgot about this bag. I just seen it now. So we have, um, first the Halloween bag is like super cute, especially like when you have like, I don't know, you have to bring stuff back and forth or whatever, it's just super cute. So we do have these Halloween towels. Um, they have like this little string and you like button it. We tend to hang these like on our cabinet, like the drawers or on the stove or even on the refrigerator. And it just kind of gives like a little bit of a spooky vibe. Um, this one says Happy Halloween and then it has spooky on the top, um, which is to look, it kind of looks like almost like, um, you know, those uh, like farm trucks. It looks like a, it's supposed to be like a black farm truck carrying um, pumpkins. So we actually have two of those. And then these are like some of the DIY projects that I've made over the years. So this was originally for a toss and throw, Halloween toss and throw. Um, but of course over the years, you know, stuff breaks down and breaks apart. But I like keeping these guys because they're just really easy to either like pop on the wall or just like pop in like little areas to make it a little bit more spooky. Um, so we got my little uh, ghouly ghosts. These are, uh, you know, like, I'm trying to think what they're, they're those gels that you stick on the window. This is, I believe, like, blood drips and, like, handprints. Um, we try to preserve them so we can use them more than just once. So that's what this is. We have more gauze. Ah, I do have... Um, spider web. So I do have some spider web. We're going to see what we can get out of this. Um, we're probably going to end up buying one or two more packages just so it's nice and fresh. Then we have this garland. This one is like a pumpkin. It's like iridescent orange. Oh, that just fell off. That's okay. Iridescent orange pumpkin. Um, so we have that as a garland. Oh, we have our, I like to call these my witch's bells, um, but they're just little bells that you put on the door, um, and every time you, like, open up the door, it, like, rings the bells. So, if you are into a magical practice, I, I do practice on the side, we tend to put this also to, you know, kind of let us know when spirits have arrived, because, you know, the veil is so thin. If you believe in that type of stuff, you're welcome to share it here. It's totally safe zone because that's what I'm like. All right, and then it looks like we have some towels. Now these towels definitely do have to get washed because they've been in the basement, so they are a little bit dirty, um, but we'll definitely get them to the laundromat this week so then they could be put up. But we have Salem Broom, and it says uh, First Quality Enchanted. And they're just like tea towel um texture and then we also have it's kind of like a bunch of different like halloweeny themed um like stamps uh there's witch's brew uh trim spider hair unfiltered poison zombie brew wool of bat magic 
hemlock root. This really gives me this gives me Hogwarts Legacy vibes because of the different stuff that you can make in Hogwarts Legacy and just going foraging and stuff like that. So it just, I don't know, kind of makes me think of Hogwarts Legacy too. Um, and then we do have our other pumpkin, uh, pumpkins, um, other towels that are like Halloween-y themed. So this is just all black. And then we have, um, it's like a hat trying to see if it could be picked up it's we're in darker lighting we have a hurricane that is going by um we're in this a safe zone but it, it's hard to film but i want to get make sure you guys have october videos um a witch's hat and books and then we do also have a pirate one but it we tend to like use these towels more during that time because it's more just like halloween not like pirate halloween so that is all for um all for our Halloween decorations right now. I can't wait to make more. I can't wait to buy more and just decorate with you guys. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope this kind of gets you a little inspired to maybe decorate your own home for the holiday season. And yeah, I can't wait to see you for the rest of our spooky spectacular. Mm -hmm.